Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Hawkeye vs. Deadpool issue 3. Before I start talking about this series, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 78, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We got Robin Hood ongoing issue 5, Butterfly issue 4, Bionic, Bionic Woman season 4 issue 4, Outcast issue 6, Dark Shaman issue 3, Revival issue 26, Nova issue 25, Daredevil issue 11, Batman Eternal issue 38, Shield issue 11, Future Zen issue 34, and Earth 2 World's End, issue 12. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, episode 78, which is annotated. But let's talk about Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, issue 3. Um, I've been having a blast with this series, uh, especially if you've been missing that series right there. Uh, it hasn't been out in a while. It's been delayed for uh, a good bit. But if you do miss the fun of that series, it really is wrapped into Hawkeye vs. Deadpool. And I'm saying this with a disclaimer, I'm not a big Deadpool fan, but this series is pretty hilarious. So I've been enjoying this ride. And I think Jerry Duggan is a great writer and a writer to look out for in 2015. Um, and really look out for 2014 also. But hilarious cover here. Deadpool and Goop trying to fight Hawkeye. Not working out. Love the cover. Let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see that Clint is under mind control by Black Cat, the whole crew, and it's really up to uh, Hawkeye, Kate, and, uh, and Deadpool to try to get Clint. And they figure out all these ways to try to get him, and then by the end of the issue, he has to pretend to be in a mind control again, because they're able to destroy whatever thing that was c controlling Clint, and now Black Hat might have found out that Clint's not under mind control, and he could die. So that's pretty much the whole issue, and it was so much fun. We get to see so many great moments between Kate and Deadpool, uh, you know, moments where Kate's like, this is disgusting, and tries to pull out a knife from Deadpool's chest, he's like, you know, you didn't actually have to do it, but that's cool. Uh, and then she just sticks it back into his chest. Uh, we get to see Kate try to use a rocket launcher and she has it backwards. It's such a fun series. And the artwork just fits the tone of this uh, series so much. And I can't say enough about it. Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, if you're not reading it, if, even if you're not a Deadpool fan, I feel like you can enjoy this. I feel like it's less silly and just has a lot of great comedic moments and comedic beats here and uh you know if you you miss hawkeye you get the same great dynamic you always get with kate and clint uh with some humor uh thrown in uh and more humor than usual uh so great action great story can't wait to see where this goes i'm a little sorry that this is gonna end honestly i, I want to see jerry duggan write the new hawkeye i know lemire's doing it but I feel like Jerry Duggan could have this in the bag. I think he, he really does a great job with, uh, obviously, Deadpool, because he has that series, and now with Hawkeye. Um, four and a half stars. Almost my pick of the week. Such a great issue. Fun issue. Definitely pick up this mini series. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Rant Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father Light Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Light Daughter. I'll see you guys later.